green environment unit 1 so we have already covered some subtopics like waste management the steps involved in waste management three as reduce reuse and recycle and today we are going to cover some of the subtopics in the first we are going to learn uh, learn about the plastics which has been banned in Tamil Nadu plastics in Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu is leading the way in India by banning some one-time use plastics so here they have given some of the list of the plastics which has been banned in Tamil Nadu and also they have given the reason so you can see this is a carry bag isn't it plastic bag animals eat the plastic bags by accident when they contain some leftover food items and it was found that a cow was uh, found with over 70 kilos of plastic in its stomach and the second one is the plastic plate these plates are used for just 20 minutes but it will stay in the environment for over 1000 years which means that it takes 1000 years to get decomposed okay and plastic pouches that is water pouches often they get littered here and there in the environment and also it is very difficult to recycle and the next thing which has been banned is the plastic straws and they are also very difficult for recycling and they end up polluting the environment and uh, we have the uh, chemical coated plastic sheets and these chemicals from the plastic sheets they will leak into the food more when the food is hot, spicy or oily. Yes, okay. Uh, so all these uh, types of plastics has been banned since they, we people are using it only for one time and will be throwing it, isn't it? So all these type of plastics have been banned in Tamil Nadu. Next. Our next subheading is environmentally friendly materials. The things that can be decomposed or broken down by microorganisms are biodegradable. Yes, they get decomposed and they will be converted into a fertilizer like end product. So they can return back into the soil and they will become the food for the plants. So these biodegradable items are environment friendly or even they are called as eco friendly materials and materials like uh, plates made up of leaf cups made up of leaves and banana leaves you can see many different types of cups made up of leaves also uh, things made by bamboos bamboos used to make many things such as packs dustbins and even toothbrushes all these are uh, eco-friendly and they do not contain any chemicals like thermocol plastics or any uh, coated paper plates and all Yes, they are fully biodegradable and so they are eco-friendly materials. There are some materials uh, which are not biodegradable but are eco-friendly like stainless steel, water bottles, snacks boxes, tiffin boxes and all. They are very 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 strong but they are not biodegradable. So we can use it for many years instead of using plastics and throwing away and buying a new one. Yes, we can use it for... Uh, many years since they are very very strong and also they are eco-friendly litter free environment littering so here and there people will throw the uh, garbages and will make the environment look more ugly and also it will cause pollution wind and rain uh, uh, what will happen it will move all these litters into some drains rivers lakes and water bodies and also it will pollute all these water bodies so it is very very dangerous to animals also as they may eat it as it smells uh, because of the smells of the food which was already kept in those uh, covers and all and which will lead the animals to eat it and will make or cause some problem to the animals the not littering we have we should so for this what we have to do we should not litter things in the environment yes instead we have to drop it in the dustbins provided yes next we have something here to know which is nothing but ngc's national green crops 
so it is one of the national program initiated by the government of india and that motto is nothing but where there is green there is prosperity green na pasumai prosperity abindrathu selipu okay so their main aim is to bring awareness among the school students and uh, around 50000 schools la vandu what they have done is they uh, made the students to participate in some of the activities uh, through their eco clubs yes and gc school students will uh, protect and promote the conservation of natural resources through participating in the activities such as the conservation of forest and managing waste and all so by this way they will give awareness among the students related to the environment and this is the logo of them you can also see they have written the motto below this where there is green there is prosperity and children we have to uh, follow some of the uh, rules to keep our environment clean and also to keep our environment green so that we can save our environment yes and uh, yourself and myself uh, i hope that will follow all the th three r's waste management steps and also we'll keep the environment litter free green and we'll save the environment thank you children